Hello everybody, this is Pookie TVX. I want to discuss a little thing real quick. This is for Baby Birdman. For Lil Wayne. Quick question. You and Baby situation are you and little Wayne's situation father and son correct we're gonna skip a little further to the night little Wayne's tour bus got shot up what was the reason for that baby bird man what's the reason why Little Wayne's tour bus got shot up. Can you answer that? Not even answer that. The person that's in jail for Little Wayne's tour bus getting shot up, why would you be talking to him, Birdman? And not in a angrily, madly way that a father should be talking to a person that shot at his son. Can you explain that, Birdman? When all the other people in cash money, just go through them now, juvenile, Turk, still owe Turk some money, but Turk, BG, and the best one that can do the beats, Manny Fresh. When all of them dropped off, left you with just Wayne. He stayed loyal to you. He threw cash money on his back and took it to the moon. Did all he's supposed to do while still being an artist. When we know damn well he should have been the owner of the damn company. And for you to talk so pleasantly to the person that shot at his tour bus is fucking disgusting. What kind of loyalty is that, Birdman? Huh? Stunner? Huh? What kind of shit is that? Huh? Little Wayne carried that company more than anybody that was in cash money. So, comes back to the question again of the father and son. Birdman. To the father and son. It seems like a fucking crime of passion. As if a person's wife was leaving him and wanting her half of the money for bringing the company up and getting it to where it's supposed to be and separating, saying, no, I just want my half and let's go about our business. Let me do what I got to do. So you tried to stall him out of his money as long as he can. You stalled him, you stalled him, you stalled him. Then you're going to have this fruity ass, dumbass, gay ass young thug talking about he going to put out the car to fire. Or whatever fruity shit he was saying. It don't matter, it's just some fruit shit. But <clears throat> back to you, Stunner. It seems like a crime of fucking passion, nigga. He was about to get half of his fucking money, 
which he rightly deserves. And you didn't want to do that. You didn't want him to leave, Birdman. You didn't want him to leave. So which way can you stop him, Birdman? How can you stop him and keep your money? Riddle me that. I'm not going to go too deep into it, man, but you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You absolutely know what the fuck I'm talking about. You owe Wayne more than half of that fucking company. That man grinded, grinded and grinded. And then you're going to treat him like that. Oh, his father. Get the fuck out of here, man. His father. Nigga, please. Crime of passion, bird man. Crime of fucking passion. For you to sit there and hee hee and ha ha with the person. That riddled this tour bus? Somebody you love. You love them, huh? That's why I'm glad Rick Ross made that song. That was the hardest shit, man. He directed it straight at your motherfucking ass. When your idols become your fucking rivals. Shit was fucking dope. He was the only one to come at your motherfucking ass for Lil Wayne. That's some punk ass shit, bird man. Stunner. It's the reason why your whole team dropped off. And you tried to build another gay ass team. You got that one nigga talking about Birdman fuck me for the deal. You try to put these little faggots on your team. Because they don't give a fuck. But they could never be a little Wayne. No matter how hard you try to make Jaquise look like Wayne, nigga, he don't got that spit. He ain't Wayne. Wayne deserve a public motherfucking apology from your motherfucking ass, nigga. Cause you just plain disrespectful. Birdman, 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 nigga. My son. Nah, nigga. Crime of passion. Crime of motherfucking passion. He's a sad case, man. And Lil Wayne, don't fall for that okie doke shit, man. Don't fall for it, man. I've been wanting to say this for a minute, man. I just watched it letting it play out, man. I just had to come and just put my little two cents in it, man. You can take it how you want to. Wayne, hold your head, man. Birdman, need to bow your motherfucking head. Gone.